So there's many different references, reference points within the show. Yeah. Um, in the opening room, it seems to be quite violent. It's the sort of most violent and intrusive room yeah. in the show. It's quite harsh. But is that an intentional um, move? It's not intentional. It kind of unfolds, and I let things unfold as they do. And if they turn out violent, then they do. And I think it probably would be a subconscious thing. Mm. You know, so I don't kind of control it, but subconsciously there is some thing coming out there. But for me, you know, I'm kind of trying to put these things together and see what happens. So, okay. if they turn out violent, that's kind of... But there is a, there is a sort of... Uh, there's a relationship between every room in the show and both visually and there's an audio relationship between yeah. every room in the show. And as you move through, yeah. the sounds from each room connect, yeah. interchange, yeah. Um, and even sync up. And yeah. I, mean, I think that that's something that's very key to what you do is yeah. when, you, when, you, when you have an installation. Sure. I think that part is inten intentional to a degree where I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working with technical things such as tempo, you know, conventional music, musical things like tempo, key, um, structure. Um, I don't know if they're conventional musical terms. I guess they are to a degree. But um, so those things are intentional. But the, the way things sound and why they sound the way they do isn't intentional. If you see what I mean, that's all kind of... But I think that there's also a, there's also a level of... Um some some works specifically in this show, and I think that, that it does it does apply to other works. Some works have more of a traditional musical element to them, and they have yeah. a they have a rhythm yeah. and beat yeah, and sound yeah. that you can follow and predict. And then others really don't. Others are very very atonal mm. and even um, fairly menacing sometimes. Yeah. But do you think of do you think of your work more as soundscapes or as sculptures? Um, both. It's kind of something in between because if they were just soundscapes then I wouldn't be bothered about what they look like. If they were sculptures then I perhaps wouldn't be bothered about what they But there's, a, there's like. a really sort of sentimental element to how you uh, construct an installation because mm. a lot of the materials are yeah. vintage or found yeah. or they're not really um, they're not fabricated. They're not aesthetically. They're not yeah. necessarily aesthetically pleasing. They're not ugly, but they're yeah. not. They're not made to look beautiful. No, they're made. They're, they're usually if they if they're kind of they usually perform some kind of function. You know, nine out of ten times it's it's a completely functional thing. Like I guess the most beautiful thing, or I don't know, that's a subjective thing to say, but for me the most beautiful thing in the show is probably the the mirrored cube. You know, because it's quite a seductive thing with a laser, and maybe but it's it, just. But that, in, but that in itself serves a function. Yeah, everything there is like a functional thing. So the mirror is there to reflect the laser light. The you know, it's 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 a container for water, and you know, so on and so forth. So there's every element in that is um, serves a purpose. So that I think that 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 idea of function and utility is really important because if it doesn't really have a utility, then it's not in. You know. And, you know, I study design, but I don't design anything in that way where I'm, I'm designing a utility. I just use whatever's available to, you know, reappropriate whatever's available to change its, alter its function to perform another function. And what do you, what do you hope that people will take away from the show? Um, not the pound coin. If they don't take away the pound coin, which you can put back in now, Actually, if they do take away the pound coin, it might be good because then it changes for a while.